Hi guys, uh, good evening everyone. Now is my voice audible to you all? Yeah. Okay, so back to our thesis session. Okay, actually today uh, we are taking a session based on a previous uh, NQT session. Okay, based on previous NQT exam. So today I just wanted to discuss a few things and I just wanted to give a few inputs to the students who are going to write. Uh, I mean, next upcoming slots of thesis NQT exam. So what things like we just wanted to cover in this particular session is, okay, one thing, okay, we have discussed a few topics uh, in the last one week or 10 days. So uh, what type of questions that students experienced in the last exam? I mean, on Saturday slot, okay, we have a few questions and few inputs we have taken from the students who attempted in the morning and afternoon slot of uh, Saturday's thesis NQT. Okay, so I, I'll just give you a few uh, points. Okay, uh, how many questions came from which topic approximately? What type of questions that students experienced in the last thesis exam? Okay, regarding all these points, we gathered a few inputs, okay, from our students, okay, who already completed their thesis NQT. So, uh, I just wanted to mention a few points here, let's say. Okay, uh, these are the few topics that I have taken uh, on the first day. Okay, these uh, topics are important for thesis NQT exam. So, I'll just give you a few things. What type of questions came uh, from this type of, uh, from, from these topics? Okay, let me tell you. Okay, as I said, the information that we got from the students is, okay, from percentages and simplifications. Okay, so students are saying that on each slot, either on the morning or afternoon, from percentages, students experienced three questions, okay. Uh, and when we when we take uh, combinedly on percentages and profit and loss, students got three to four questions on on that particular range. Let's say on these two topics like percentages and profit and loss, students got three to four questions and one direct question from percentages and one question and there are few questions from percentages. Let's say two to three questions they have given based on pie chart okay they have given a pie chart and it is also a simple question Be, uh, i mean easy to medium level question based on that pie chart they have given a question let's say i hope like uh, you might have aware of this pie chart okay they will give you separate and different different segments okay let's say based on uh, maybe manufacturer or based on some percentages value let's say 35 percent okay 20 percent they will give you some values and they will ask you questions, okay, that questions is also like uh, students are saying that these questions came from percentages from easy to medium level questions. If you have a basic knowledge about percentages, okay, easily out of three to four, you can easily score two questions minimum, okay. So this is how like uh, we got uh, information from the students and there is one question from time and work, okay. So one question given from time and work in the previous NQT and uh, discussing about like number system okay so obviously uh, we can experience uh, let's say an example based on quadratic equations okay and based on a few things related to number system i'm not not particularly sure about it okay but uh, students I, i'll just give you direct uh, topics and as well as the questions which uh, students experience from the topics let's say from menstruation okay something based on the radius okay based on the circle and uh, based on uh, a triangle so students experience one question from menstruation and simple interest and component interest. actually this is the topic like students are uh, uh, most eagerly waiting for okay so si from simple interest and component interest okay in the previous slot they got three questions okay and one definitely from component interest and remaining uh, questions from uh, both simple in and component interest okay and time speed distance and actually when we are discussing about time speed distance concept okay so we have discussed about problems on trains problems on boats and streams okay but uh, one general question from time speed distance is given that too it is a very easy level question okay next based on ratios from ratios and proportions okay they have given we already uploaded a video regarding these ratios and proportions okay in cv corp youtube channel that we already discussed okay from ratios and proportions they have given one question based on savings expenses income they have given an income ratio okay and a savings ratio and depends on that ratio okay one thing you just need to uh, remember in order to solve that 
you just need to know one simple logic okay income is equals to expenses plus savings okay i'm not particularly sure about the values all these things and all but surely the question which comes from ratios and proportions based on this particular logic so if you are sure about this particular logic you can easily score one particular question okay and next uh, from partnership we uh, we have one question and the statistics as i said okay finding mean okay means averages okay so for finding mean even we got uh, one particular question on uh, they have given a table and some certain values and they are asking students to calculate a mean so remember that mean is also uh, known as like we can call it calculate average okay so the students who are looking for the next slot make sure that you just uh, go through it okay there are five points that you need to look for like uh, one is mean mode median okay next one standard deviation and variance okay if you uh, know how to calculate all these five there will be definitely one question from uh, the concept of statistics and when it comes to the point of permutations and combinations okay even students got one question from permutation and combination one question from statistics one question from uh, partnership one question from ratios and proportion okay so as i said data interpretation means the concept related to pie chart and they have given a data interpretation question linked with percentages so even we got a data interpretation question one question from data interpretation question okay so next when it comes to the point of reasoning so out of all the point i will talk about uh, generalized points at the last okay so coding and decoding uh, we have one question and as i said we have discussed about blood relations question very very important topic again i am repeating that okay if you are thorough with the concept of blood relations okay two questions came on uh, the same slot and that to the two questions is from okay we already discussed about based on symbols p into q means p is brother of q p into q means p is sister of q based on the symbols we have solved few questions from blood relations so from the concept of blood relations uh, they have given two questions okay and next important one data arrangement okay so very simple here from the concept of data arrangement they have given four to five questions in the entire i'm not talking about only foundation round i'm talking about overall view okay from data arrangement means from seating arrangement they have given four to five questions from the same concept see if you are aware of the concept very simple they have given one question based on linear arrangement one question based on circular arrangement and they have given one particular question on saturday slot okay let me explain you that question what kind of question you just go through it once okay if you have any doubts we'll discuss it later okay let's say uh, this is a uh, let's say they have given one square okay they have given one particular square okay and eight persons needs to be arranged in that square okay four people at four different corners all are facing towards the center four people at four different corners and remaining four people on this particular edges one in between two people so likewise total eight people needs to be arranged in a square box all are facing towards a center and they have given certain conditions so after arranging all those like they have asking they are asking the question like one or two questions but overall if you are thorough with the concept of data arrangement okay last slot they have given four to five and i'm just telling you all the points based on saturday slot we are not particularly sure and mostly the same kind of pattern will uh, will be repeated okay so maybe the same uh, uh i mean weightage questions will be given from the topic but not 100% sure let's say an example okay uh, i think so like students didn't give any uh, points about like the questions came from probability okay in the last slot they didn't give i think so any questions from probability topic it doesn't mean that okay you will not get any questions from probability maybe uh, to the next slot you may get questions from probability as well okay likewise based on an overall view i'm just uh, giving you a few inputs regarding this uh, previous i mean last saturday's nqt exam and syllogisms we discussed at the last right okay we discussed about the question okay as i said okay there is one guarantee question from syllogisms concept in the last even saturday slot thesis nqt they have given one question from syllogisms two statements and two conclusions okay very simple and very easy question they have given from the concept of 
syllogisms. Obviously, from the dice cuts and unfolds, obviously, we can expect a question that will be based on 3D images and also uh, some picture interpretations also, the questions from image interpretation also uh, given in the exam. Okay, apart from this, okay, so when, when it comes to the point of uh, advanced section, so there are few topics to be discussed in even advanced, okay, just, yeah. As I said, permutation combination, one question given, menstruation, one question given, simple interest, component interest, time speed distance, okay, time on work, okay. And when it comes to the point of averages, you know how simple the questions of averages, uh, the questions uh, from the averages concept is given in Saturday's exam. So, there are two questions given from averages, almost too similar. If you, if you haven't watched that video, okay, of averages of thesis NQT, which we discussed earlier, please go through it and wa watch it once. The same pattern of questions which we discussed in the class, the same two questions were given in uh, the concept of averages. Okay, and there are few changes that we have observed uh, in 2025 thesis NQT exam. So the people who are uh, about to write, I mean, in the next slot, okay, make sure that there are few updates that I just wanted to give uh, to all the students who are going to write thesis NQT exam. So as we discussed in the in the concept of foundation, okay, what we discussed about is uh, in foundation round, almost all the questions that you will get is multiple choice questions. But there is a change uh, in Saturday's uh, thesis NQT pattern. Uh, we got inputs from the students. Uh, students are saying that there are few questions, okay, from numerical ability. So they got fill in the blanks even in foundation section itself. Okay, these are the inputs that we got from the students. So be prepared. Okay, don't be worried and shocked like after seeing questions of uh, fill in the blanks in foundation section itself. So the almost the, whatever the questions, number of questions and uh, as well as uh, the weightage or the timings, everything is same. The only small change in foundation section is some students experienced uh, fill in the blanks question in foundation section itself. And one more small uh, information that we got from the students. Okay. And one more uh, information that we got from the students is, okay, comparatively foundation section, advanced section is easy, okay, because uh, I'm not so sure uh, like how students uh, feel about uh, advanced part, but uh, in advanced section, okay, you will be having one advantage, okay, so you will get more time for the less questions, right, so you will be having only 15 questions and timing will be 25 minutes, maybe because of that students might have feel uh, advanced section is little easy. But uh, the feedback that we got from the students is, okay, uh, the questions which are given in advanced round is little easy comparatively uh, in the foundation round. So irrespective of this foundation and advanced round, okay, so be prepared whatever the topics we discuss mostly. Okay, so be prepared all the topics we already uploaded in YouTube and almost the topics which we discussed, either it may be percentages, profit and loss, averages, syllogisms, all guarantee questions. And especially blood relations, coding and decoding, one question uh, was given in the topic of coding and decoding. Okay, whatever the videos that we uploaded in YouTube and uh, almost guaranteed questions uh, that students experienced in the last TCS NQT exam. So if you have not watched, okay, almost you will be having time for the next uh, slot of uh, TCS NQT exam. Okay, so you can start preparing all the topics and we can easily expect the questions from those particular topics. As I said, a small changes in the TCS NQT foundation round. Be prepared, okay, of experiencing fill in the blanks in foundation section, okay, and you will be having few questions of fill in the blanks in foundation as well as advanced round, and as as this like uh, multiple choice questions. And one more small update regarding coding part, I just wanted to give is uh, you will be having only two questions in coding, okay, only two questions like uh, uh, the pattern, okay, small changes that you will be uh, having two questions in coding. Okay, but the time is same, whatever we discussed in the uh, starting video. So, the timing will be same, questions will be uh, differing. Okay, so this is all about the thing. If you have any queries regarding this, you can post it. Yes, uh, that navigation is possible. Once, uh, very simple. I already uh, said in the first video, okay, again, the student is asking, like, uh, can we go back uh, to the question, okay, after visiting? So, if you, let's say, if you start a numerical ability, 
okay within that numeric ability you can go okay once after sectional timer okay whatever timer you have once if it is done you cannot go back so after completion of foundation round then you will be experiencing advanced round okay so uh, once if advanced round start, let's uh, take an example i am starting advanced aptitude round so if i want to go back to the foundation round i cannot go back so once after completion of that i can start with advanced part okay so whatever i said like topics okay if you have not uh, watched the first video you just go through that video and almost the videos that we uploaded in ecv corp youtube channel like whichever the topics we have picked up the most uh, important and priority wise we have taken so watch all those videos as i said so guaranteed questions that students are experiencing from the topics which we discussed in the earlier classes okay so let's say blood relations time and work percentages profit and loss the most important topics minimum even you will get okay we can assure you that minimum 3 to 5 questions that you are going to experience from percentages and profit and loss topic definitely one to two questions from averages topic two questions from blood relations okay so coding and decoding ratios ages so there are so many topics okay whatever we discuss definitely you are going to experience a question as i said one student experienced one question from permutations and combinations i will tell you that exact question what student experienced uh, in last saturday's exam okay and uh, even simple interest component test okay so there are few topics that we already discussed okay so be prepared if you have not started yet so go through all the videos once so start preparing at least you will be having these four to five days of time for the next slot so if you have any doubts you can uh, post it in the chat box i'll answer your queries fast yeah okay yes students is posting like uh, you have sent your program please explain it yes of course like after 5:30 start uh, now i'll discuss all the aptitude related things so obviously like whatever the codes that students experience on saturday's class yes obviously we have a codes we are going to explain this at 5:30 class okay don't worry yeah 